Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back, welcome back. So y'all, I am definitely behind the scenes today, so we're gonna do this voiceover style. Uh, I will be doing a... I want to say a quick beat on Taylor. It's not going to be anything different than what you've seen me do in any of my previous videos. So um, let's just get into it. Um, here, of course, we started off with a, uh, she started off with a clean face. Here I am moisturizing and um, I'll be priming here shortly before we get into the full makeup application. Uh, Y'all, it's not anything that I need to, you know, even you know, try to give a tutorial on or anything like that because to be quite frank, this is my legit everyday makeup look that I'm doing on her. So again, you're not gonna see anything different than what you have seen um, previously uh, in some of my other get ready with me type videos. So just kind of follow along. I'll jump in and out and kind of let you know uh, what I'll be doing throughout. I will also um, just kind of list a few of the products that, you know, may be questionable um, down in the description box. So as you, you know, you'll see different little pop-ups here and there. So um, let's get into it. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Uh, please leave any feedback, any questions or anything like that um, down in the comment section um, so that I can get back to y'all. Hey, if you make it to the end of the video, there just might be a little something um, fun that I might give away. So stay tuned, y'all. So for those of you who have watched many of my other Get Ready With Me type videos, um, y'all know I absolutely love the Revlon Colorstay Foundation. It's that drugstore foundation that I just, I can't quit using. Um, I, I no longer use any of the expensive foundations because this is definitely one that's kind of like a if it ain't broke, don't fix it type foundation. I just love it. Um, I kind of want to branch out to some other things, but until I find something else that's as cheap as the Revlon, um, then I'm pretty sure I'll be sticking to this. So um, that's what I'm using for uh, Taylor's foundation application, and she is in the uh, caramel color. Okay, y'all gonna have to just bear with me because there is a lot, a lot of blending that's gonna be going on. So what I have done was I wanted to just kind of speed it up so it wouldn't be, you know, like watching turtles cross the street. Um, but still just know that there's lots of blending. Again, this is an everyday makeup look 
So it's kind of like I just kind of take my time just so that everything has like a nice seamless um, finish to it. So let's just blend it out. The setting powder, the under eye setting powder that y'all see me using here is by uh, Makeup Revolution. The color is Banana Light. Y'all, this powder is actually quite great. It, you know, it's pretty much a dupe for the Ben Not Banana Powder. Y'all have seen me um, use that in a few different shades in the past. Um, so this one um, can be picked up at Ulta and I'm pretty sure some other places and it's, it's fairly inexpensive. We just had to go find a color that did match um, her skin tone so again this one can be picked up at Ulta and to be quite honest it's just as good as the Ben Nye from what I can tell I haven't used it um, but maybe once or twice but it's a good one so give it a try Here you guys will see me using um, the all over face powder that I tend to go back and forth from um, to dust away the under eye powder uh, we previously used. So here I'm using the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Uh, you'll then see me go in with a bronzing shade, which is by Shea Moisture. It is in Dusk. It's a mineral bronzer in Dusk. Uh, what I also like to do is I tend to go for a deeper contour shade just to kind of give me more of a chiseled, um, uh, chiseled face. Now, this may not be something that I do every day because everywhere I go, I don't need to be chiseled, okay? So the second powder that I'm going to go in, which is much darker than the bronzing Shea Moisture Powder, is going to be by Becca. And this is going to be the Perfecting Powder, the Multitasking Perfecting Powder in Deep Bronze. So I'm going in with two shades. The first one is more of like a bronzer color. You can really leave it at that. But I mean, if you really just trying to give them something, then you know what, take it a little bit deeper. And that's what I'm using um, for the darker color. So for the sake of time, y'all, um, I will not do brows on camera, but what I will do is link below 
my uh, beginner friendly makeup series brow video so that you guys can have just more of an in-depth in -depth look at how I do brows. It's gonna be the same no matter if I'm doing brows on myself or somebody else. So I will definitely link that video below so that you guys can check it out. Um, but here you, you do see me kind of grooming Taylor's brows a little bit um, just because she had a few longer hairs that you know were just you know trying to get in the way. Uh, but yes, yeah, so now if you've noticed, I've already uh, done brows and I'm going to go ahead and set her lid with the same all over face powder that we've been using, the mineralized skin finish. I like to do this step because typically when I'm cleaning my brows, I do tend to drag, I kind of pull the, the concealer down on my lid. So, I mean, if I didn't want to use, if I was wearing like a serious eyeshadow and didn't want to use an eyeshadow primer, then my concealer would work just fine but in this case we're doing a very you know more of a contoured crease look um, so basically I like to set the concealer with the all-over face powder to kind of just blend it in a little bit more so that's what's going on here It is officially highlighter time. So after I have let the um, the setting spray kind of really settle into her skin, we're gonna go in with the Black Radiance True Complexion 3D 3D highlighter palette. Um, I have talked about this before, y'all. I think I even gave a couple of these away at one time. I'm almost certain I did, but. This is the same brand um, of the Highlight Contour Palette that I used in my Beginner Friendly Makeup Series. And when I discovered this highlighter palette, y'all, I could not get enough. And also, not only are we gonna just use the highlighter on her, you know, the, the, the high cheekbones and things like that in the other areas, we're actually gonna be using this same highlighter palette on her lid. So you'll later see me kind of contour her crease area. And I was like, you know what, let's just add just a little shimmer so I use the uh, second shade in the highlighter palette which is called first class that is the purple color that you guys will see on her lid in just a bit For the crease area, y'all, I am just simply going between the bronzing shade and the deeper uh, contour shade that we were using. I mean, it's like seriously not anything magical that I'm doing, simply dipping back and forth between the two. If I feel like it needs to be a little bit deeper, I'll go into the deeper shade, but that's, that's it. Hey, y'all, at this point, she was really starting to feel herself. So she had to take a Snapchat break. Um, so I'll include her um, Snapchat, Instagram, all that stuff in the description box. But yeah, she was feeling herself at this point. Y'all, how gorgeous is this uh, highlighter shade on her lid? First of all, I don't know if you can really, really tell, but it's actually more of like a purple, like a really pinkish purple. It's absolutely gorgeous. We weren't planning to do any type of eyeshadow or anything like that on the lid. I wanted this to be more of a 
high school friendly because she is a, you know a senior in high school now I wanted it to be more high school friendly to where you know she didn't have to think about using all these different colors just having a beautiful application um, on a regular basis but then I was like you know what after deepening the crease just a, a tad I said let's just add a little highlighter on your lid to see what it looks like and y'all it is just absolutely gorgeous so um, this I love the palette I love y'all should really really look at um, picking one up Hey <laughs> y'all, here she go again. First it was Snapchat, now she had to give y'all a whole concert. I have no idea what we were listening to. Probably her or Ella Mae, but you can tell that she is really feeling what she's looking like at this point. So um, stay tuned and we are going to uh, pop lashes on. Actually, as you see, I've already put one on. I was going to put it on on camera, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not trying to make this um, video be three years long. So let's just go ahead and do it off camera. Um, but now what I'm doing is I'm kind of just taking a little bit of the uh, contour bronzing shades and just kind of going underneath the waterline just a little bit. Um, not too much. As y'all can see, the lashes are quite dramatic. So I didn't want to do too much to the lower lash line but at least add just a little bit of color. You may not even be able to see it on camera, but in person, you really can see that there was just a little bit there. Uh, so here we're just um, doing finishing touches and I'll be right back with y'all. So here we have completed the liner and the lashes. What I'm gonna do is Kind of at this point just touch up just a bit if I feel like you know I kind of dusted a little bit too much of the highlighter away I'm just gonna kind of reapply here and there I've actually already applied her lip as well off camera and she is wearing the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, liquid lipstick and I want to say sapia is the color but I'll, ma I'll make sure I include it here but I'm pretty certain it is um, sapia Y'all lasted through the entire video. I appreciate you so much for watching. Check the description box for uh, some giveaway fun. So um, read down below for uh, details on what I'll be giving away, how long it's gonna be open and all that good stuff. Thank y'all so, so much for um, stopping by. Be sure to uh, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.